What's up, YouTube? That's all beats back with another video. Today, what we doing? The NPC stems came out today. So, what we doing? I'm showing you how to download it and how to install it. Alright. So you don't have to go to the Akai website to do the um, you know, I used to have to go in and download the the update. You don't have to do all that right now. Alright, so I'm gonna show you how to do all that. Just first remember when you go to purchase the MPC stem is 999 but with tax is like 10 something right so just make sure you use your in music email that you use on your hardware or inside your software because that's the only way it's going to recognize that all right i've seen some people was using the wrong email address and it, it wasn't showing up that was the issue all right so make sure you're using the same i can't stress it enough Make sure you're using the same email that you're using in your in music for your hardware and for your software. All right, let's get into the video. Let's go. All right, so let's go. Let's go to akaipro.com forward slash stems right here by now make sure you buy with your in music um with your in music email address because you when it's time to go in here and activate it you need to activate through your in music all right so use your in music email and password that you already have all right so let's go we want one copy um let's use paypal all right i'm block this out for y'all all right so right here is where you would have seen it said update right here and this is where you would have hit update and then it would do the installation of the mpc2 software for you all right so that's right there you can go to the akaipro.com website to download the in music software the software that's being installed right now you can go there and get it and there it goes now hit activate. Now it's activate. Now you got to download it. Now it's downloading. Let me turn on the MPC key while that's running. All right, so it's now. All right, so it's now ready to go. All right, so here you go, ready to go. Let's just hit OK. Let's make sure everything is working. Let's see. Let's bring it just a, it don't matter. All right, let's use that just for instance. Okay, so when you go to sample edit, there it says it up top stems. Let's see where it say that in here on it says it right here inside the software. It says it right here on the hardware. It says it right on top. You can't see it once you go to sample edit. It says it on top. Once you in the software, it says it right here. Once you're inside sample edit right here. Once you go to sample edit right here, is at the top. All right, so let's hit that. See what it look like. Bam. Let's just. All right, so it did pop up. Let's cancel it. So that's how you install it. Let's do a recap on how to do it. You'll come here. Once you get here, you'll see uh, update. On your mpc2 software it will say update right here you hit update let it update itself you don't have to go to the website to download nothing let me make sure that i'm clear you have to go to the website to purchase the mpc stems when i'm saying you don't have to go to the website you don't have to go to the website to download the update for the software you don't have to go to the the website to do that 
but you have to go to the website to purchase the MPC stem for $9.99. All right, let's go back. You can do it all from right here, which is the in music software. The in music software, you download and install that. If you don't have it, come right here where your MPC2 software is at, hit update. Once you hit update, it will run, right? And it will do the update and it will tell you when it's finished. You do the installation wherever you want to put the MPC um, DLL, which is the MPC as a VST. If you use the other programs, you will, it will ask you where you want to put that. And then once that is done, make sure you already purchased the product, right? And once you purchase the product, you'll come here uh, to edit preference activation. And once you update it, you should see the MPC stem separation at the top. And it was it wouldn't have nothing. It, some of y'all probably won't have nothing right here. All you have to do is hit refresh if you already purchased it with the same login information that you use right here. And it worked perfectly fine just like that, right? So that's it, man. It was simple. It works. Now it's time to get in some music, all right? Catch you in the next one. Let's go.